Hi, this is Matt Bernstein with Low Cost Hustle, and today we're going to talk about AWeber and how to create an email follow-up list for your email subscribers. Click the current list that you want to work on and click Messages. Scroll down to the follow-up email series and click on that. We have four emails set up. The first one, giving away the free course to the customer. That is what they wanted in the first place, and that's why they sign up for the email list. The second email is giving them free lecture to one of your courses that you want to promote. Nothing else. You're not selling them yet. The third email is another lecture, another free lecture. And again, you're not promoting. You're just giving them free information out of the goodness of their heart, adding value to their lives. If you're not truly adding value to their lives, they're not going to buy anything from you. They're going to unsubscribe when they see the email or they're not even going to view it. And on the fourth email... That's when you sell them. You say, unlock the rest of the course for $10 or $19 or $29. You have to price test yourself. So when you're creating your first follow-up email, this is what you'll do. You'll do your subject line. Mine is, what 4,000 people learn for free selling on eBay and how to start a business. And I give them the free courses that I have to offer. And what you'll do is you'll use these elements above. If you want to do a paragraph, you drag and drop that into wherever, right? If you want an image, drag and drop it. If you want your signature at the end, you drag and drop it. If you want a divider to divide these by, to whatever you think looks best. And it's how I created this email list. So you'll click save and then you'll click next. And then you'll click save and exit. Now for your second email, this is a cool feature when you decide when the customer will get your email. You can set specific days and times when they'll receive the email. So number two, your email is sent whatever day after the previous email. I show it's two days after the previous email. And they can send the email anytime on Tuesday. And they can send the email anytime on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And they can send the email anytime they want, Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. So I checked off those days and I said start time. Send the emails between 3 and 6 a.m. And send messages based on the subscriber's local time. And then I click save and exit. So that's how you create a follow-up email series for your email subscribers. Thank you so much. This is Matt Bernstein from Low Cost Hustle.